Now, in the clubs, why do you think people are carded in the first place? Because they look younger, usually, than they really are. Mm -hmm. Well, that's why they have you ask somebody's age when you meet them. Right. That's one of the protocols of someone you just meet, especially if you think, you know, you might go to the place more than once, like a nail salon. Right. That's local. I mean, it's not like you're going out of the way. Right. Or you know what store someone who's 15 or not is working in. Right. <laughs> or a teenager might be working in. Usually the women are older in a nail salon, right? And usually they're either married or single, and you can usually find that out within the first few minutes of meeting someone anyway. And uh, you ask them certain questions, right? Are you single or married? Are you, where are you from? Are you from America, or were you from born in Vietnam or somewhere, or China, or wherever the girl woman's from? Right? You're, you're just trying to get to know them while they're doing your nails, right? And trying to treat them like a human being and not like, I mean, especially if you're going to frequent it because your nails grow pretty good. <laughs> I mean, that's one reason to do a nail salon, huh? <laughs> you want someone to cut your nails for you and you have a bad back or something and it's hard for you to normally do your nails, right? What's wrong with you, right? Now, if you let a 15-year-old girl work, all she has to do is go to her school and get what's called a work permit. Because <laughs> she's a year younger than she's supposed to be. <laughs> and that will be the end of it. She said, I'm 15, I'm on an apprenticeship program. I'm not really getting paid anything, but... <laughs> or my dad runs the store, whatever's going on. Right. I don't know her. <laughs> see, see, it's called communication, man. <laughs> And it works two ways. And, uh, it works when you meet someone for the first time. You get to know them. Right. Now, no one in the store said anyone was 15. Right. In the whole store. So I don't know what you're talking about, dude. <laughs> and you're, you seem to be the one acting crazy here. Right. <laughs> You know, it's one thing to be crazy, it's another thing to act crazy when you're around other people, right? That's the difference between dealing with a mental illness, right? And knowing you're dealing with one and trying to get better from it, right? Or acting the fool because you know something's going on, but you're not telling the whole truth about it, or you're leaving out details that would stop the event from happening itself. I don't know you. <laughs> I don't know your age. Right? And even if I did, I would have to ask you if I met you or not. <laughs> and that's the point too. Right? If you tell me someone's a certain age, but I asked her her age, but I could tell he was an older man. <laughs> the second time I went to the store, and there was a lady there with him, but he wouldn't let her do my nails and insisted on doing them himself. Right? That's odd in the first place, because usually ladies do your nails, right? not men. No, no. Men might take the money or something, or you know, be there for security or something to make sure nothing happens to the ladies, but usually it's women in a nail salon and not men and not men. Unless they're in an office or something managing the place. Right. Mm -hmm. That's what I mean too, right. It's like you're trying to change the rules for one person and then that one person lied to me or something according to you. And then I'm confused by the person and they take advantage of me. Right. I don't remember what happened. That's what I mean. Right. Well, the person can't do that either. We're not born with psychic abilities to know somebody's age anyway. You gotta ask somebody's age. Right. Where, where are you from where you think you can look at a person and tell their age? Even folks in Asia ask somebody's age if they've just met them. Right. Yeah, they do. <laughs> yeah, they do. 
you don't know somebody's age unless they got school uniforms on or something. <laughs> well, that's for when you're in school. It was on the Saturday that I even met the girl. And again, right, she was dressed in normal clothes, right? She had on a blue shirt type t-shirt and I think jeans kind of like blew themselves, right? If I remember correctly, right? <laughs> but that was four years ago. Right. And no one said she wasn't 37 when she told me she was 32. Right. So whatever we did during the time I was in the store ain't none of your business if you weren't there yourself, I guess. Right. Or you showed up later, right? And when it was too late to do anything, and you should interfere with it, right? And why I don't remember, right? I don't know what happened, right? 100%. <laughs> no, no. Just basically, I was trying to get my nails done. And the girl was kind of distracting me a little bit, right? Though I planned on seeing the movie after I got my nails done. I wasn't going to be in there more than the normal amount of time unless something more was engaging between me and the girl, right? And even then, mm -hmm. if I'm 50 and the woman's 37, mm -hmm. I would still call her a younger lady or a younger girl. <laughs> That's just a word we use for a female. Mm -hmm. A woman child, right, is the same, or a female child is the same as a male child, right? Right. Again, again, except born female instead of male. Now, according to Paul, there's either Jude or Gentile, bond or free, male and female, for you're all one literally in the body of Christ, right? And in Ephesians, he says, He's made both one through his flesh, right? His body, his body. <laughs> well, male and female aren't two. <laughs> but a mediator is not a mediator of one, but God is one, right? God's in both male and female, Jew and Gentile, bond and free, right? It's above all, through all, and in you all, which is Ephesians chapter 4, right? Says all that too. In fact, Jesus in the Gospel of John has Thetos. But in the book of Revelations, he has Mastuus, right? Which is the Greek equivalent to female breasts, right? Well, how can you go from a male chest to a female chest unless the key is the girdle girt about his chest? That's this area. Not this area, <laughs> down here. Mm -hmm. Usually a girdle is down here, right? His girdle is up here. <laughs> Uh-oh, someone's confusing things or was confused about something themselves, right? And that's because the traditional idea of the Messiah is he's a male. Mm -hmm. At least of the tribe of Judah, or... Levite, one of those two. <laughs> and again, <laughs> he's born of the lineage of King David, right? <laughs> That's all they really know about him. Well, you can't even trace back the lineage of David even now. <laughs> you lost all that from Roman invasion until now, right? You don't even know who the line of David or Judah even is anymore. You know, you, know. you might know the Levitical line, right? <laughs> <laughs> I heard that, the Cohen line, right? But you don't know a damn thing about anything else, right? You don't know if what happened to the 12 tribes, you don't know what happened, right? right. And, uh, or the 10, actually, right? Two of them stayed in Israel, kind of, right? And that was Judah and Levi. Mm -hmm. Which really leaves 11, <laughs> right? Because, see, Judah, Levi didn't really get an actual parcel of land, right? Joseph's two sons, Ephraim and Manasseh, Manasseh, whatever his name was, right? 
Well, they were given two parcels of land themselves, right? <laughs> Joseph's sons through the pharaohs. Princess, right? <laughs> Whoever you had her marry, had him marry, right? <laughs> mm. And see, a lot of people are reading parts of the Bible to themselves, but not the whole thing. Mm. Well, that means there's parts of it you're not reading to yourself or to each other, right? That you're technically sealing, right? Which is what John's talking about in Revelations, right? And the problem is you're playing like you're not worthy, right? Which is the key word to understand what's being said, right? <laughs> Men above the earth, on the earth, and below the earth, right? Uh -oh. <laughs> what does that mean? What does that mean? Some think there's under caverns in the earth and people were living in there or something, or something, or something else. Well, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I don't know, right? <laughs> Unless I was talking about those going to torment, those going to paradise, or something else. I don't know. I don't know. See, spirits are supposed to go up Stay here or go down, I guess. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying. But again, some people think ghosts are haunting them or something. <laughs> and they have pretty solid proof, I guess, unless they're real good editors. <laughs> I mean, Hollywood type editors. <laughs> you couldn't do better, right? <laughs> really, really? <laughs> mm hmm. Well, usually the only way something can move around is you got a string attached to it, and then you got to edit out the string or something. Very uh, and that's called editing, though, right? <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> How does Hollywood make it look like their ghost movies are real, right? When they do their ghost movies, right? Well, they have a way. That's filming techniques. That's editing, right? That's done in the drawing board, or the editing room, right? And a lot of people don't realize what they're seeing is fictional to a point that it's not even in reality, but on a CGI screen, right? And so then they get, want to believe, right, it's real, right? Well, that's where you're blending fantasy with reality yourself. And if you do that, age is about knowing someone's age, right? And when you meet someone for the first time, you gotta, what, ask their age, right? That's anybody, right? And everybody, right? You can't just look at a person and know they're a teenager or not, right? Especially Asian women, I know. I keep telling you that, I don't know. Now, it is the adult's responsibility to ask the teenager's age, right? or the woman's age, right? All he does is he's meeting a woman that looks like an a typical Asian woman, right? <laughs> What'd you expect? I don't know. The girl to lie to him or tell him the truth, right? That's all she could have done, too, right? If she was 15 or 37, right? Now, if you told me 37, and you're saying she was 15, you're telling me she lied, right? About her age, right? And I was telling you that's all I can do if I meet a 15-year-old girl or not anyway, you know, in a nail salon, right? Exactly what I meant, <laughs> right? All I can do is ask someone's age if I meet someone I don't know, right? Or for the first time, right? <laughs> now, if that person takes advantage of me, right? And not me, them, it's on them. Right. Even if she's 15. <laughs> what, a 15-year-old ain't supposed to know she ain't supposed to have sex with a 15-year-old man either? Yes, she is. Yes, she is. <laughs> you can't put that all on the adult. <laughs> if she's so old, at the age of consent, and George is 16, I keep telling you that too. She could have done the job without a permit at 16. <laughs> She wouldn't need one. She wouldn't even need one. <laughs> but at 15, she does. She's still in school. Right. She's at least a 10th grader, which is okay to start working, but you need the school's permission. Right. 
in Georgia. In Georgia. <laughs> you got to go down to the office, which is the principal's office or administration office, whatever you want to call it. Right. And ask permission to work. That's all she would have needed. Right. And uh, to do. Right. Whether you're in a private school or public school, too. Yes. yes. <laughs> and we're not psychic. Right. Nobody's actually psychic here. Right. <laughs> Even if coincidentally, me and The Rock know about a white gorilla, I didn't talk about a gorilla being injected with some kind of chemical and growing 50 feet tall or something. Right. Like King Kong. Right. But both me and The Rock heard of a white gorilla, and he used a white gorilla <laughs> in the movie Rampage. Right. <laughs> That's all that means. That's coincidental. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, now, I was talking about one because I heard of that happening in nature once in a while, though it's once in the blue moon. Right. It's called an albino gorilla. Right. And we were talking about albinoism, and that's also something in humans. Right. It's rumored Noah was an albino. Right. <laughs> and shine like the stars. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. And again, like, what do you want from me? Right. Mm -hmm. Do I look 50 myself or 54? Can you tell my age by looking at me? 